Welcome back. In this film, we will explain why we have chosen to develop our own range of industrial oils. An oil formulation <clears throat> is a uh, combination of different ingredients um, meeting the, the right um, specifications, characteristics for a certain a given application. In order to, to maintain the oil over a long period of time, you have to know exactly what kind of additives are consumed by the application, and now you have to replenish that. So you need to know in detail all the components inside the formulation. You also have to understand that using an oil all the time in this process of continuous cleaning, you also have to avoid certain additives that you do not want to have there. So for that reason, it's very important that uh, the SKF oil range is built together specifically for the DST units. We want to have uh, an exact control over the formulation on, uh, for uh, each application. And we want to make sure that we make the, the right selection of oil, base oils, that we make the right selection of additives, that we avoid the additives that we do not need in the oil. So to optimize the oil for the best, in the best way for the given application. Since we are uh, reusing the oil over and over again, or continuously in, in an, uh, in an uh, online system, the, the cost of the base materials becomes less relevant. So we are more focusing on optimizing quality for the application. Because SKF wants to be uh, in the performance business, so that means you have to be in control of all the parts that you make, like you are in control of the design of the bearings and the production of the bearings. And also the lubricants is a significant part of the use in this circulation of oil, continuous use of oil. So for that reason, we have to optimize the formulations of the oil and we have to know exactly what's inside the oil. We have to know exactly why we make choices for which base oil, which additives, how to maintain it, how to measure it. So we have to be in control. In the, the current situation with uh, lubricants, uh, the only reference you have is the OEM testing. So this is a deliberated test program with institutional tests from the DIN or the API or uh, whatever kind of institute. And then you have additional to that, you have OEM requ requirements. And the OEM testing and the institutional testings are mainly based on to determine the maximum lifetime of the oil. So what is you know, the minimum acceptable criteria to fulfill this need? Well, we are thinking about continuous use of oil. So in that respect, we also have to question the OEM approvals and the OEM testing. So that means we have to go and sit down with the OEMs and explain the situation, what we are doing here. You see the OEM approvals, uh, like the institutional testing nowadays, are not set up for testing uh, continuously use of oil. So we have to change the testing as well. So far we have listed uh, a couple of oils, um, that uh, were hydraulic oils, paper machine oils, gear oils, um, those were specifically requested in certain applications we were investigating or, or running pilot tests. So those were the products that we developed specifically for the DST uh, compatibility. We will develop oils for, for applications. And uh, for instance, hydraulic oil so it can be used in, in, in different applications or gear oils in different applications. 
So we all will do functional development of lubricants, which can be used for several customers. And we can make many, many more of those. But again, I mean, you have to get the information where we want to develop an oil for, which application. You can start adding products to the catalog without any idea. So you need to understand what, uh, what, what market do we want to approach or what, what test case we have to investigate. And then we will look into the, to the, uh, the, the requirements there on, on the lubricant. And we will start developing the oil specifically for that application and that we will add to the oil catalog. We have seen in the testing that we have done so far that uh, the additives are not stripped by the, uh, the, the separation booster. We also need to know which additives can be avoided because it's important because a lot of the additives currently in lubricants are very polar additives which are meant to keep contamination inside the oil. Well, we want to take it out. So that's one of the most important aspects of why we need to know our formulation. You can imagine if you take out all these small nanoparticles which can act as a catalyst for oxidation, we might not need that those additives anymore too, or in a lower concentration. So the oil will be much more the pure oil. We are so far seeing that we cannot treat very high polar oils, and that can be ester oils or biodegradable oils, which are mostly based on esters. So those type of oils are very difficult to, to, uh, to treat or specific engine oils because the, the, some of the engine oils, they have an extremely high concentration of, of additives that has to keep the impurities inside the oil. So it's very difficult to fight against that and to, to get it out of the oil. Well, those are those oils uh, which contain uh, a low concentration of additive or only specific additives. These oils are very easy to clean. Um, take for example, in, in the, if you look at metal working, uh, holding oils are very easy to clean. Uh, uh, turbine oils are easy to clean. Uh, transform oils are easy to clean. All those oils with a very low concentration of additives. Hydraulic oils can be uh, cleaned uh, uh, easily in, in, in general, but hydraulic oil is also a very wide range of oils. Because if I say hydraulic oils can be easily cleaned, we have we know hydraulic oils which uh, contain uh, detergents, which are the additives to keep the contaminants in solution. Or they have a high concentration of polar components like uh, some VI improvers or esters inside. So, Hydraulic oil is a very, very wide range of products. At this moment, um, there are um, technologies which are also looking in, 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 uh, in uh, fine filtration or sustainable use of lubricants. But um, as far as I know, there is nothing uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the way we are doing it. We are disrupting the, uh, the uh, um, regular way of looking at uh, lubricants. So I'm sure that the customers, if you think about that industry, will be delighted that we are turning the use of valuable assets from a linear into a circular process. So look at sustainability. The oil industry will be surprised that we will do things in a completely different way. But as with, you know, all disruptions in history, in industries, people will have to adopt it sooner than later and, and become part of it or disappear. Do you want to know more about SKF's unique range of industrial oils? Please contact us at SKF Recondoil and we'll be happy to explain more.